minutes, please. Yes. Um, nothing. There is no latest of uh, developments as of this afternoon. However, approximately 10 o'clock, a little after 10 this morning, I was finally able to determine that the victim families were all notified, and I released the names uh, of the victims. Those victims are Victoria D. Lee, uh, 25, originally from Missouri Valley, Iowa, and a Gabino A. Vargas, 30, uh, previously from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, just, I guess, to back up a little bit, um, approximately 20 after midnight, uh, Saturday morning, uh, Antelope County Sheriff's Office, Nebraska State Patrol and Holt County Sheriff's Office uh, responded to a 911 call uh, in western Antelope County, just east of Ewing, Nebraska. Uh, initial call was a uh, possible domestic dispute involving a weapon. Um, shortly after that, a second call was received of a trailer house being on fire in the same vicinity. Ewing Fire Department was uh, dispatched to that location. That address was, and I will correct the address I did this morning, it's, it is 51092. 857th Road, um, just east of Ewing. Uh, among the burnt house where the bodies of the two victims that I previously stated their names were located. Um, and shortly after that, um, assisted by the whole county sheriff's office, Antelope County deputies uh, made an arrest of uh, Ewing man, Matt Henriksen, at his residence. Uh, as a result of the investigation, his possible involvement or knowledge of the house fire and the death of the two uh, found in the trailer house. I don't know if you, that's what basically uh, we released thus far. It is an ongoing investigation being continued by both the State Patrol uh, and the Nebraska Fire Marshal's Office. Um, you know, I had stated earlier that. Uh, there have been autopsies ordered and we're pending uh, the findings of those autopsies. The third male that was in, that came out of the house. Um, yes. About him, is that, is, he helped lead you guys to Matt Hendrickson? Um, no, basically uh, he left, uh, he was able to get out of the residence as it was burning. Um, he was identified as uh, Francisco Gomez and uh, he was just, uh, he was another occupant of the residence, um, but he at least had, uh, notified law enforcement that there was possibly other people still in the trailer house. But he was questioned and he was released after that and he was not injured due to the fire, thankfully. In that case, how did you guys arrive at Hendrickson? Um, well, that basically was uh, the law enforcement's investigation and uh, uh, other knowledge that they had of, of the possible area. Um, and I'm not going to get into too spe specific at this time. Is there much we know about how the fire started yet, or is that still being investigated? That's still being investigated by the uh, Nebraska Fire Marshal's Office. Um, of course, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to state or even uh, guess at what the possible cause was. Um, but uh, at this time, it's still an investigation, the actual cause. So. In that case, why was he charged with arson if there's no cause determined yet? Well, I can at least I can think I can safely say that it wasn't an accidental fire. Anything else? I have a quick question. When was the last homicide in Antelope County? October of 1982. 19? October or November was Tom Schuhart. It happened here in Neely. Can you tell us the relationship between the um, victims and the suspect? Not at this time. I'm not going to get any more facts specific as to that either. Because there is, it is an ongoing investigation. So. But I would ask, I guess, if there's anybody out in the public that might have some pertinent information or know of uh, either the suspect or the victims that they may feel they can certainly contact uh, uh, Nebraska State Patrol. With any of that information, be very open. Can you tell us who made the initial 911 call? Um, actually, it came from a cell phone. Um, 
and we did not get a return number or anything like that, so it's actually unclear at this time. When are we uh, anticipating autopsy results? How long does that normally take? <clears throat> I know the last time I talked to him, I know that it was going to be scheduled for either today or tomorrow. Okay. So, we're hopefully to have results well. I hate to say that because I'm not a forensic uh, pathologist. I don't know exactly how long it takes for them to get official results. But once uh, it is known um, and uh, we feel it's confirmed, we'll release it. And do we know when Hendrickson will be in court? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm glad you asked that question. Who is, uh, there will be an initial hearing and first appearance in the Antelope County Courtroom tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Just so you know, uh, there has been an actual criminal complaint filed with the Antelope County Court. I'm sure if you uh, could get a copy of that public record, but he has been charged in a five count complaint. Five counts? Yeah, five counts. counts. That would be two counts of first degree murder, two counts of use of a uh, uh, weapon to commit a felony, and one count of arson. Anything else? Uh, can you talk about the circumstances that led up to the entire, um, I guess, what led you to the arrest? Other than basically a 911 call and law enforcement were in the area and they were able to, in their investigation, uh, come up with where or who the possible suspect would be and then they had contact with him. Were both 911 calls made to the same address, from the same address? I mean, were you supposed to respond to the same address for the fire and the other? Well, that I actually couldn't tell you if they came from the same cell phone or the same person. I do not know. I just know that there was a second call reporting the trailer house in that same vicinity to uh, that was on fire. So I could not tell you for sure. Do you have an employer for Matt Henriksen? I'm sorry? Do you have an employer for Mr. Henriksen? I do not. I do not know who his employer is. What about um, the victim? I know the one victim, Mr. Vargas, had been employed at Friday. Who will be representing Henriksen in court? I will, do not know. Uh, and that may be uh, a topic that's brought up at the hearing tomorrow. Okay, other than that, I hear my phone ringing like it has been all day. I'll get back to it. Thank you very much for Thank all you. coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.